everybody and welcome back to the channel. I just wanted to give you a little update on something that I've been noticing going on between my gravel tanks and my sand tanks and I wanted to get some advice on what you thought. But in my sand tanks, my algae blooms don't develop as quickly. You can kind of see on the glass. I still have algae blooms that develop, but they just don't happen to the on the frequency of these gravel tanks over here. And this has been a week. You can see the front. It's just hard to see the front of this aquarium is just a huge algae bloom. And I know there's two, two different types of bacteria, one that requires oxygen and one that doesn't. And so the sand environment over here in this aquarium, it has both types. And when you're cleaning sand tanks, if you have like a large mound of sand in the back or in the front and you're cleaning and you see like bubbles escape, I believe it's sulfur gas, that's the waste product of the bacteria that doesn't require oxygen from what I understand. So you wanna be a little careful when cleaning those mounds and just kinda of lightly rake over it because that can be deadly, but it helps play a part in your nitrogen cycle. But if you're gonna have a planted tank, since the oxygen is a little harder to get down through there because of the pebble sizes, you're gonna to have to probably be a little bit more careful, whereas the gravel tanks over here, there's plenty of oxygen for those root systems to take effect. I did try to add a tiny bit of sand to these tanks right after the experiment was over, but I have some more cleaning that I'm gonna add a lot more to it because I don't think it's, there's just not enough. There's still a lot of air, like little air pockets. Um. Also, when I went to the hardware store, I just picked up sand and I honestly didn't know anything about different types of sand, but I grabbed paver sand and paver sand has a purpose. If you're laying patio stones, you don't want that sand underneath it to wash out. And from what I understand, they add like a calcium carbonate to this. And that helps buffer this water also. And I believe that calcium carbonate plays a role in your KH. There's GH was this general hardness in your KH. And I believe that tracks your calcium carbonate levels. But these guppies, they just seem to overall do better. I don't have as many diseases that affect these guys and it could be coincidence I'm not sure but it seems like this substrate for them just really helps because that that brings up the hardness like I said that KH is a little bit tiny bit higher and so they just overall do really well my plant life does better I have this I believe it's called hornwort and usually it's from this tank that it grows really well and I add it to this gravel tank because it usually, so far, it always dies on me and I add more from this other tank to this tank. And also with this aquarium gravel that I used, it's coated in like an epoxy, some kind of green plant based epoxy of some sort and so that causes those pebbles not to um, dissolve in your water whereas if you go to like the creek and you add pebbles those are slowly going to dissolve and maybe that'll give you the same effect of the paper sand but if you have like a bottom feeder or something those shards on those pebbles from the creek can be a little sharp and I have I've added I don't know if you can see any but <clears throat> I went through my yard we have a bunch of just pebbles and rocks and I picked up a couple shells 
here's one. I just added a few that maybe that would kind of help. Everything disease-wise has slowed down, and these are my second generations. I've got this little focus, this cobra male. It's just not focusing for you. And I just kind of wanted to give you a quick little update on something that I've noticed going on in these tanks. If you've had any concerns or didn't know what type of substrate to put in there. Um, the thing with the sand too is everything does settle right on top. Food. Um, waste from the guppies, just anything that goes on. Um, if anything happens with the plant and it falls down, it, it all settles right on top. So to clean this, you just have to barely hover your aquarium vac and it, it cleans up pretty easily. You just want to be careful not to suck up your substrate. If you just go about it like you're cleaning your gravel, you're going to suck it up. So... Hopefully that helps. If you have any information to help on this topic, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel if you want updates. But I just wanted to mainly share something with you that I thought was kind of interesting. And if anybody has any comments, just share them. And again, thank you.